We have made a setup that will send an email to me when the door is closed or opened. So this is the sec this is the setup. That is a Raspberry Pi which will be sending the email to this account when it gets the input from this circuit, which is powered up by this power battery. These two wires from the circuit extend out to these copper wires, which will be connected when this aluminium foil contacts both the copper wires. This is nothing fancy, I'm not an engineer, but this works for me. So, let's test the circuit. If I close the door, in around 10 seconds, I'll get an email there. This LED also lights up as an indicator. So, as you can see, we got an email saying the door is closed. If I open the door again, like this, in a few seconds, you'll see that the Raspberry Pi sends another email to the laptop saying that the door is open. I can close the door again. And just like before, the Raspberry Pi will get the input from the circuit and it will send an email to this account, which will soon say oops, that the door is closed. And if I open it again, the Raspberry Pi will send an email just like before. And soon you'll get an email saying that the door is open right there. And that's all. So this is the circuit schematic for this circuit here. So this is the 5.5 volt battery, 5.5 volt battery. Which, at the positive end of that goes into the 680 ohm resistor, which is here, right here. That goes into the door switch, which are these two, uh, these two wires here. Then, out of the door switch, it goes into the GPIO pin, which is this wire here. But it also goes through a the LED, which is here, so that the, cut, the voltage that goes into the GPIO pin is always 2.7 volts. Without it, in this setup, without this, the voltage that goes into the GPIO pin is 3.1 volts, which is still under 3.3 volts, which is the maximum for the GPIO pin. But it's too close to the maximum, which is why I put this LED here, which limits it to 2.7 volts. This resistor here, is, this resistor here is also important because without it, when the door is open, without it, the GPIO pin is just, the input to the GPIO pin is an open wire. And when that happens, the GPIO pin gives uh, noisy readings and false values. Sometimes it will, be, it will give a reading of one and sometimes it will give a reading of zero. So to prevent that, uh, we have this, the GPIO input also goes through a resistor to the ground so that when this uh, switch is open, the GPIO pin is connected to ground, which keeps the reading, which uh, keeps the reading that the GPIO pin gets at a steady zero. At the ground, the battery's ground is also connected to the Raspberry Pi ground, which is this wire here. The re the, that sort of connection is called a common ground connection and the reason for it is so that the GPIO pin reads accurate values. I set up this multimeter to measure uh, the voltage between the GPIO pin and the ground. So you can see the GPIO pin here is connected here and the positive end of this multimeter is also connected there and then the other end here is connected to the ground here on this line. So if I close the switch just like this, if I close the switch, the LED turns on and you get a reading of 2.62 volts um, across the GPIO pin and ground. This 2.63 uh, volts um, is going into the Raspberry Pi input, which means that it gives a high signal, or a 1. 
And when I disconnect it, when I turn it, uh, close the switch, open the switch, sorry, this is zero volts and the Raspberry Pi reads zero. I've connected the Raspberry Pi using a HDMI cable to a screen. So this is the code. First we import the Raspberry Pi dot GPIO as GPIO so that I don't have to keep referencing this library with this because that's hard to type. Then we import SMTP lib and SSL, which will which is what we will be using to um, to send the emails. Um, then we'll import time. Uh, from time, we'll import sleep, which will give us the ability to delay parts of the code. Anyways, first we use the GPIO library and set mode to GPIO.bcm. And uh, this is to tell the program how you're going to be referencing the pin numbers. So here we have the numbers of the pins. In GPIO.bcm mode, the Raspberry Pi will be expecting numbers. Uh, you will have to write the numbers that are on this side, GPIO 19, 16, etc. But if you choose the other mode, which is GPIO.board, you will have to reference each of the pins using these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Anyways, back to the code. So the first thing we do is we set up pin 21 as an input pin using this line of code, gpio.in. Then we create two variables, previous and state, and we set them both to zero. I'll explain why we, where we use them later. Then we have the password of the sender email. So uh, we have the password of a sender email set uh, in a password variable. This line of code is used to uh, this line of code is to send the to get ready to send the e to get the code to get ready to send the emails. So in the here we have a function called send state with this uh, parameter state, and we'll be using that in this part of the code later. So. First, we have the message. So we'll set message to open if we receive that the state is equal to zero. Otherwise, if we receive a one for the state, we get the message to be closed. So all of this code here, it sets up the uh, library to get ready to log in with a Gmail account. And we have to use a Gmail account because up in this line here, we set it up to be to log in to a Gmail account, as you can see here. Anyways, we log in to the sender Gmail account with the password variable we had up here. Then we send an email using this command, server.sendmail from the sender at gmail.com to this receiver email, and it doesn't have to be Gmail, it can be any sort of email at all. And then this last parameter here is for the email. So we send the door is and the message we variable we um, defined here. So now this is uh, the detect part of the program where it detects if the door is closed or open. So first we create, uh, we create an infinite loop and inside the infinite loop, we first thing we do is get the input that the Raspberry Pi, the tw Raspberry Pi input, the GPIO pin 21 gets. If we read a zero, and the state that, and the state, if, if we read a zero and the state that we read is not equal to, which is this sign here, not equal to the previous state we received, then we send an email using uh, the, the function we created up here, and then set the previous value we got to the state we just read. Same thing happens here, but instead for state equals one. So if, if the state is equal to one, and the, the, the state we read is not equal to the previous state we read, then send, send that state here, use that same function, 
and then make the previous uh, thing we read, the previous variable, to what we just currently read. And the reason for this second part of the code here, the second part of this uh, condition here and these lines here, is so that we, because without this line, let's say that didn't exist, Every time the door is closed, it would constantly send an email to the laptop or sorry, the email account. So, but we only want it to send it once, only when the doors has changed. So if it has become from open to closed or has changed from closed to open. And that's the only reason for this uh, part of the condition here. And then we run this um, function here using the text which runs this infinite loop.